It's time to go from the Milwaukee Mile. It's in the nets by Firestone. Green, green, green. green, Foster gets the early jump. A challenge for second and contact. Abel saves it, but he loses significant spots. Falls back to sixth or seventh at the start. It's exactly what Louis Foster needed. No Clean start. He's got three or four car lengths down the back straight. Jacob Abel, not ideal. Kyle Collette who is still trying to get the hang of ovals on the outside of the green and black 18 car. And Salvador de Alba Jr. looking to get by him in that red, white, and green number two. Can't get it this time. Now side by side for position. A little further back, and de Alba is going to get it done to move up to fourth. It's a great start in that 39 car, originally driven by Nolan Siegel for Christian Brooks. Salvador de Alba throws it up the inside, two wide through three and four. You gotta figure out where to drive, how to drive the car, where the lap time comes from. So we see Miles Rowe going around the outside. It looks like James Rowe. I'm really interested to see if Louis Foster is just managing this race here and saving his tires for the second half. Oh, we got a spin, Miles Rowe spinning, coming off turn two. No contact, but we are yellow. All right, ready to go green again at the green, Milwaukee green, Mile. Green. Louis Foster trying to finish off what has been a splendid season with a win and a championship today. Jamie Chadwick, though, is taking a little look. And back there, Jacob Abel is side by side with Christian Brooks for fourth. And a great jump for Jacob Abel. And Salvador Diablo looking on Jamie Chadwick, clears her into turn three. And here comes Jacob Abel thinking he can take advantage of that momentum shift. It is tight there in the top six or seven. Foster is away, but now De Alba Jr. will go on the attack, and he won't be quite so friendly as the teammates. The restart is under review, so we'll take a look at that in a moment after things get sorted out, and they are not yet sorted. Christian Brooks lost a little bit on that restart when he lost to, well, to Jacob Abel, lost to Bryce Aaron, and now Kyle Collette looking to go the long way around Christian Brooks in three and four. And Jacob Abel continues on the charge, and he's gotten it done with a big wiggle. It's not quite complete on Jamie Chadwick. Abel's hung on to it. He's in the third. And that's who he's racing. And here's Sundermorthy and Brooks renewing acquaintances again. And Sundermorthy's going to try the outside. That is very difficult to do. It cannot get it done, and is going to lose a lot of ground, and is now under attack by James Rowe. Christian Brooks, I know he doesn't have a lot of experience. That's very close to contact. Can Sundermore, they go around the outside and make it stick. Oh, so close and they touch. They hang on to it. You can see how treacherous the grip comes and goes so quickly here at Milwaukee Mile. And now Rowe might have it done. Side by side and he's got the preferred low line. Keep them tight, don't move, don't move. Keep them tight. Still there, but you're clear in, clear in. It's another familiar voice, Peter Dempsey, who knows how Perfect. to win. Perfect, now let's get the head down and go. You're way quicker, team, guys. Pearson and Hedge still tied together. Back there for ninth and 10th, Jonathan Brown has entered the scene and now has a little bit of run on Hedge. Oh, that's so close. Here comes Ricardo Escoto, thinking he's gonna take advantage of that shift down the bottom. And De Alba and Abel are side by side for second. Can Abel make the outside work? He does. De Looking Alba can fight back though. Clear. Looking low. Jacob Abel is up to second where he started. Finishing this championship run with seven wins in 10 races. Louis Foster has won at the Milwaukee Mile and is the 2024 Indy Next by Firestone champ. Louis Foster, you are the 2024 Indy Next champion. How does it feel? Talk to me about your emotions. Absolutely amazing. I mean, I'm just speechless. Um, I got to thank the team. Uh, they've been behind me for the last two years. Uh, massive thank you to everyone on the 26 crew. Um, and my sponsors, um, Copart, Navara. Um, but yeah, it's just been, it's been a crazy two years and uh, I'm super happy to cap it off with a win. Watch Indy Next by Firestone at Nashville Super Speedway, Sunday, September 15th on Peacock. Hi folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights 
by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.